TypeScript 5.5 includes a ton of amazing features, but there's four in particular I want to talk about in this video, with one of them being something I've been wanting for years. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And to show you the differences between version 5.4 and 5.5, I have a 5.4 editor open on the left and a 5.5 editor open on the right. And immediately you can see that I'm actually getting errors in the code on the left while I'm not getting errors in the code on the right. And this is the big feature I've been waiting for for years. And that is that the array.filter method really never filtered things like you want when it comes to TypeScript types. For example, on this left-hand side, you can see I have an array with numbers and null. And if I look at the type of that array, you can see it is either number or null. Pretty self-explanatory. I then filter that array saying, get rid of all of the elements that are null. So now I have an array that should have only numbers inside of it. But when I check the TypeScript type, you can see it still says it could be number or null. And then when I come down here, obviously I get an error because I can't add two to null because it still thinks my number could possibly be null, even though I already filtered all of those out. This was a really big problem in TypeScript and it's something that was quite difficult and annoying to solve. But luckily with TypeScript 5.5, they completely removed the need to do anything extra. As you can see now, when I hover over my numbers array, it properly is typed as an array of numbers. And this has correctly removed all of the null values from my array. And it's made sure to reflect that in my types. So now I no longer get any errors. And this works with even more complicated type checking, even if you have a function that you pass in. If I were to just really quickly replace this code with this code instead, you'll see now I'm actually doing a filter based on this is number function. And this is number function is checking the type of whatever value I pass into it. You can see my array originally is string number or null. I have all three of those. But after I run it through this is number filter, you can see it's just a number array on the right hand side in version 5.5. While in 5.4, you can see it didn't know how to actually filter that number properly. So I really love this quality of life feature. It just makes type inference inside of TypeScript so much better. And that's actually something that the next feature I want to talk about does as well. If I just replace the code here, essentially what I have here is a particular object type. You can see it's a record that has a string as the key and the value is either a number or a Boolean. So it would be an object that looks like this. We have a key and then this is either a number or it's going to be a Boolean. That's exactly what this object type represents. So I'm saying I pass in an object and I pass in a key, which is a string, and I wanna just get the value and I wanna print only the numbers. So here you can see I'm checking to see if my current object value is a number. And if it is, I wanna add one to it and print it. Well, I'm getting an error on the left-hand side because it doesn't know if this is a number or if it's a Boolean. It's not smart enough to be able to filter that down. In the past, you would need to create an intermediary variable. So I could create a variable called V here. And I could set it equal to this object key. And then I could use that variable in place down here. And you can see that gets rid of my errors. But now I'm adding a variable into my JavaScript code to fix a TypeScript error. Not obviously ideal. But if we look over at the TypeScript 5.5 version, you can see it is smart enough to actually infer that this type is actually a number and not a Boolean. So I can add one to it correctly with no errors. Again, this doesn't add a new feature to TypeScript, but it makes working with TypeScript easier because now type inference, which is probably the best part of TypeScript, is working even better than before. Now, these last two features were all about fixing type inference, but this next one I want to talk about is actually kind of a new feature, and this feature is all about handling regular expressions. So I'm just going to copy over a few regular expressions into both of these different browsers. We have three separate regular expressions. I'll just put them on separate lines so they're a little bit easier to see what's going on. And on the left-hand side, you can see we get absolutely no errors. And that's because TypeScript, when it saw a regular expression, it just completely ignored it. But now in version 5.5, it'll actually look at your regular expression and tell you if there are potentially any errors inside of it or if you're doing things that you maybe don't need to. For example, here I have an extra parenthesis that is not being used to encapsulate anything. So it's letting me know like, hey, did you mean to escape this? Or like, what's going on with this parenthesis? Same here, you can see I'm capturing two different things, but I'm not capturing a third thing here. So it's just saying, hey, you don't have any capture group. There's only two capture groups. Why are you trying to use a third one? So this is something that's like, hey, you know, make sure that this is correct. And same thing here, it's asking like, hey, there's no capture group named named input or named import. So what exactly is going on here? It's just trying to be like, hey, here's all these different things that are going on. Is this what you meant to do? It's just a nice quality of life feature that essentially makes regular expressions a little bit easier to work with, even though generally, if I'm using a regular expression, I'm going to be using a site that helps parse my regular expression for me because it makes it so much easier to write. But this is still a nice quality of life feature. Now, the very last thing I want to talk about is the ability to use all these new fancy set methods. 
JavaScript added a ton of new set methods for like union, intersection, difference. There's a ton of other ones as well. I actually have a full video covering them. I'll link in the cards and description for you. But TypeScript's added in the ability to use these as long as you're using version 5.5. Because you can see over here, I'm getting an error saying these types don't exist. While over here, you can see I'm getting the type and all the typings to go along with it with no errors. The only caveat is you need to make sure that you're using a version of essentially compiling down to code that supports these new methods. So here you can see I have ES next as the version that I'm using instead of like ES six or whatever it is. I'm making sure that I support a new enough version of JavaScript that it's going to have these set methods inside of it. So it's important that you make sure in your compiler options, you have that set. Otherwise you're gonna get an error no matter what version of TypeScript you're using. With all these new TypeScript features being added, there's never been a better time to learn TypeScript because it's easier than ever and more powerful than ever to learn. And if you're looking to master TypeScript, I highly recommend my TypeScript Simplified course. It'll teach you every single thing you need to know about TypeScript from knowing absolutely nothing all the way to be able to write full TypeScript applications. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link down in the description for you to go check it out. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.